You ready to start fighting for real? I'm sure you will, Blue. I'm sure you will, son. I've never doubted you for a second. So, hey, <laughs> you might think it's odd. We're back here. You're like, we're back here? Dragon's Dogma 2? What? What? Um, I'd kind of given up on this game. Oh, I forgot about those girls, too. Boys, I've put them through something, Blue. I've put them through something. I just felt bad, not for myself, not for Tenfei the Tiger Man, but I felt bad for Blue, because she's the true hero of this story, and she deserves better than the, for the playthrough to just be abandoned. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to try to go through the game and actually do stuff and not <laughs> wander around so much and not spend half of every video in the menus. I noticed that when I went back and looked at the episodes, I was like, man, I'm just in the menus all the time, son. I didn't realize uh, Wooly uh, was playing, doing this playthrough. He was versus this playthrough. So let's get right to it then. Oh, uh, you'll notice Blue is a mage now instead of a sorceress. Because uh, when I had given up, I didn't want Blue to, you know, just be locked away forever like Moriarty in the uh, Enterprise's memory in TNG. So I turned her into a, a, a mage because that's her specialty and that's where all her good skills are. And then, you know, put her in the rift so people could hire her. Did anybody hire her? I think I have to go to bed. You're like, yeah, Tenfei, this is it. <laughs> you're, you're right back on track with uh, the true Dragon's Dogma 2 action. Thank you, viewer coon. It does. I guess that, uh... I guess that means nobody um, hired her, which is really sad, but what can you do? Maybe maybe I have to be playing the game more actively. Well, anyway, don't forget about our good friends Mo and Katniss. Oh, you can't see their names because the system is down because I needed my intro on. Okay, there we go. Yes. Look, that doesn't count as menuing. If I had to do any long menuing, I'll edit it out, son. Oh, I remain the Thief of Hearts, by the way. Uh, James Rolfe not available for comment on what he would refer to my character as. Yeah, we can't forget about Mo and Katniss. She's like, uh, you slept for like three months. Oh yeah, we ended that last episode out camping, but when I had given up and was going to change Blue's job class, I warped back to town with like a fairy stone. And that's why we're back in town. You can continue being my good friend with a cool name. Okay, we have two mages now, but I'm just going to leave Blue as a mage. Okay, what quest were we on? I'm just going to look real quick. Uh, This right here, uh, we, we did it. I'm not going to do... I should just do the, the plot. What's the plot? What's the game's plot? Okay, we're, this one right here. Should be... What we want to follow. I've already forgotten how to play the game, and I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, X set as priority. Boom. Now these girls should run me there. Let's go. Another errand. Okay, Blue, I would love to. If you could lead me there, I will go wherever you want me to go. Are we following Blue, or is she just autopathing? She's just autopathing. Oh God, the playthrough, the playthrough. Mo, you got to give me the score in Nickelodeon Guts and tell me where the hell we're going. I guess I've got to be the one to actually know where we're going. It doesn't count as menuing if I'm looking at the map and seeing what we're trying to do. It doesn't show up on the map anywhere. Everything's a lie. Everything's a lie. Oh my God. Oh, it has no destination. That's why. Entrance to uncover, you can... Okay, this is one of the things we need to do. Let's go do it right now. Let's go, girls. You, <laughs> I, I guess you have to hire a pawn that has quest knowledge. That's one of the options I usually ignore very wisely. I usually very wisely ignore. All right, if we turn right, we can be out of town. And if we're out of town, that means we're advancing the game. And that means you kids are having a good time watching. I don't know how the transport cart system works, so we're just going to run there. And try to ignore goblins. 
Don't tell the Goblin Slayer. Don't tell the Goblin Slayer. I hope a griffin doesn't appear again. You do that. Sweetheart, you do that. Okay, I'm getting wore out. Stitch in my side. We're going to stop here in Bison Town. Son. Hope Vega doesn't show up. You're like, why would the Spanish man in the mask with a claw for a hand show up? Oh my god, Baka Gaijin. In the comments. In the comments were the Baka Gaijin. Look at this guy. Thinking we're going to interact. That's real cute, buddy. That's real cute. Alright, how's our straight line progressing? To where we're trying to get. Let me make sure I'm not stranding us. I'm not if we can get over this mountain. Look at these bushes and berries. I just don't care about them. I just don't care about them. I gotta get shit done. That poor captain guy. The one dude that believes in me. Okay, yeah, obviously I've taken the wrong path. We have to go across this bridge. How fun. <laughs> He's been sitting in that bar. Just sadly drinking. He's like, I sit. The true arisen out so long ago. Oh, such garbage. It glistens. I can't stop mashing buttons. How do I pick things up? I don't remember. All I can do is knock this junk. See? That's money. Honey. And now I've got the time. Oh, okay. That's not a tentacle fuck water. Limp Biscuit and the tentacle fuck water, son. That's an album right there. Okay. The bridge, this looks real structurally sound, by the way. So one good nor'easter come through here, you're done. And if a hurricane comes through, or a hurricane, a tatsumaki, if the pipes are broken, you're done. What if we fought these bison, like Don Quixote? Oh, uh, I forgot about innocent woodland creatures. I'm going to need meat for when we camp later. And you're comprised of meat. Okay, Scrag of Beast. We can make real good Scrag of Beast. What is happening here? Okay, we'll help. Exciting combat in my video game video. How do I get that damn shield out of my face? There we go. Ha 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 he ha ha. Such excitement with my icy daggers. With my icy daggers. Dragoon Tactics! We did it. I get the buff to everyone high five me, blue. Blue. <laughs> What's happened to you? Ah, oh, good times. We're very magical, this party. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Wait, I gotta loot these corpses. If I create corpses of goblins, you gotta let me loot them. Look at these bones! The good stuff, girls. Girls, you always find good stuff when bones are involved. Please don't re <laughs> report this to HR as well. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing such a good job. Lizard men. Oh, how I despise them. Unless they order army rice. Oh, I'll save you! Because I'm the hero! You've got to love me! Spin to win, baby! Spin to win! I think I have to jump to spin. Oh no, that's right, you have to hold a button, right? Don't you, like, hold a... I, I don't remember how you actually use your techniques. Swift set. Oh, you hold L1. I remember now. Ensnare! Luis! Bye! The hero strikes again! That's a new skill I learned. Yeah, during the time skip. During the time skip. Please, dear God, tell me this road <laughs> leads to the village. It does if you go unnecessarily long, but we need to turn around. I promise you, crowd, this is exciting adventure. Uh. Oh, I didn't even loot these dead list boys, did I? Beast skin. Beast skin. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to y'all gossiping, but I assume you're talking about my uh, choice in aesthetic, we'll say, as far as my pawns and the companions go. So were these goblins fighting the lizard man? Am I helping? Cutting wind! I never said the name of that move out loud until right this second, and I pray James Rolfe isn't watching. I pray James Rolfe isn't watching. 
Hey, I gave you a, a pat on the back. I made sure to stay above the waist, son. I ain't getting called back up to HR. I can only get away so much with my ruggish Tiger Man charms. Okay. Okay. No, the rocks. <laughs> the rocks. Uh, did we go across the bridge? I'm trying to get across. It's this one right here. That I'm doing everything to avoid. Alright, girls. Why have you noticed? Can't you do uh, your shield toss technique? Mo? Mo? Okay, this doesn't count as meandering if it's a, a treasure we could see. All I had to do is run around here. So simple. Even the tiger bands can do it. Scrap iron. A bunch of fucking goblins. Well, I got to do something about that cutting wind. Helm splitter. Ha ha ha. Ensnare. Wind bangs. Additional cutting wind. I can't stop once I get dagger lust, son. I'm just like Zidane climbing up that ladder in Final Fantasy IX. Someday I'll learn how to mod that game, so it'll be Freya climbing up the ladder instead. During the infamous Usoft scene. Is this like a barrel of fish? It won't let me pick it up. It'll let me destroy it, though. You think I could loot fish from it? I wanted to open the chest, Blue. Damn it. I can't be mad at her, though. She is the hero. We're the... To use an, uh, an example you never think I'd use. We're going <laughs> to go to the, one of the... Less quoted Final Fantasies, but to use Final Fantasy XII as an example, <laughs> my Tenfei the Tiger Man is Vaughn, but Blue is, uh, is her name Ash? You know, I honestly don't remember. Can I remember all the party members of Final Fantasy XII? I've never actually finished that game, by the way, so it's probably why. That was when I was, like, falling out of love with that era of Final Fantasy. I had to retreat back into the good ones. One through nine. Just watch any of my Resident Evil 2 randomizers. Resident Evil 2 remake randomizers and you'll know my opinions on early Final Fantasy. Get these wolves away from my cat ladies! Cutting wind! I can't control it. I can't control it. He's going crazy. Have I helped once this encounter? Get over here! <laughs> Look who's lined up for a hell splitter mid-air! Thanks. Mo, why are you hiding in a bush? Thank you, Mo. She had it was the only way she was comfortable high-fiving me <laughs> was if she hid in a bush. Uh that sounds like big battles. What do you think that is? Oh, that's like a Cyclops ogre thing. We could kill that. We could kill that. All day! Ooh! Helm splitter! Helm splitter! I'm no quitter with my helm splitter! Mo, I appreciate you tanking his ass, son. Okay, I need stamina. Oh, Blue. She ran over and used a stamina item. She's such a keeper. She's such a keeper! She's got my back, Blue. I know you got my back, but uh, <laughs> don't stand too close to him, especially his ass. I'd rather he grab me and ass dart me than to hurt you, Blue. Oh no, she's so helpful, she has to get right up into the combat. Hang on, Splitter! Ass Cleaver! <laughs> Inuyasha's like, you can keep that move. Look at all these mage heals! I froze the boy! I froze the boy! It's unending joy. Because I froze the boy. This doesn't count as menuing because I'm going to pop in here for one half of two seconds and do that. And now I can, can help. Oh no! I took a, a critical ass plunge attack. I noticed we're being helped by somebody in the back. Let's get rid of these damn goblins. 
Oh, yeah. I'm helping, Mo. I'm helping, I promise. Oh, I gotta do... Yeah, here we go. Back to the fray. Yeah. Boom splitter. Boom splitter. And just for good measure, a boom splitter. Okay, he's going into his second phase where he's even angrier and even more petulant if it's possible. If it's possible! Oh, my icy daggers demand it. I'm going to mid combat. Oh, oh. I'll stand up someday and you'll realize you made a mistake when you stomped me, boy. When you stomped me, boy. Oh, can I finish him off with my explosive, though? Climbing that, boy. Do, 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 do. Oh, thank you for the sweet buff. Thank you for the sweet buff. All right, put the powder charge on him. Jump away or fall off of him. They're kind of the same thing. They're kind of the same thing, right? I can't do anything. Blow up the charge. <laughs> I'm just honking him. I think that's a genuine glitch we just experienced. I still did all the work. Oh, that's right where I'm standing. There, it still looked cool. <laughs> Blue was just standing on top of him, by the way, so she probably did do all the work. What you got inside your body? Oh. Uh, look, even they're pointing out the, the garbage we found as our reward. Reward garbage, they call it. You know, I'm not doing a good job looking for golden beetle bugs these days as well. I, hopefully the girls are grabbing any we come across. Okay. Now that the action-packed nature of the playthrough is, has been made manifest and you kids are all on board, we can continue to the village where we shall be the hero. If I ask you to help, don't you have the buff that uh, increases our speed? Is that how I ask for help? Oh, they're doing it. There we go. Look at me, boys. Grease lightning. Never seen a tiger boy come running like that. Fucking win. Mo. Did all the work. I'll agree. Nobody. You want to high five me, Katniss? I thought we were good friends. I guess good friends can politely applaud each other. <laughs> Sometimes. What the hell are you? <laughs> Doesn't matter, because here I come cut win. Doing all the work. It's a good class for mashing buttons. If uh, Fidget from Dust and Elysian Tail was in this game, she'd be a thief class. She'd be a thief class. I think she'd get along well with Blue. They have equal Sundere qualities. Hey. I was going to say, you look like somebody you need killing. Who needs killing? And Wind Cutter. Helm Splitter. Helm Splitter. I be shot in the kidneys and it hurts so bad. And it hurts so bad. Dito. Dito. Whatever your name is. Give me the strength. Even if your tea's going cold and you miss the bus. Don't worry, girls. I'm here to do all the work of destroying everything. Hey, look, a uh, blue vocation duck. That's real neat and nifty, Blue. She's like, uh, I'll tell you <laughs> if I get any info. What? Celebration, having a good time, coming running in here. My God. Oh, I love having magical cat women around me. You're like, because they give you, like, buffs and healing? I'm like, oh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> That's nice, too. I saw a shadow of deception. No, we're not going statue gazing. I'm trying to advance the game state. We just did get the kids' attention. Is there, like, a secret bridge here that I don't know about that I could have easily took? Well, it doesn't matter because we're going in a straight line. Starting to think this game might be a little padded. <laughs> Am I the first one to notice? Am I the first one to notice? 
Okay, is this what we want? This little bridge right here? It is. Another. Oh, God. I got scared. I got scared. Are these like a bunch of boxes for me to have? Son, Mo has the right idea. Mo understands what it means to be the hero. Wait, what are you crowd talking about? Again, I really need to pay more attention when these girls are talking. Uh, I can't help but notice I'm glistening. Did you girls notice I'm glistening? Anyone? Blue? You're usually pretty good about stuff like that. Now, what is this exciting exclamation mark? I have icy daggers, so I guess something wants to stand. Oh, hey, here comes that boy. Ensnare. Cutting wind. Twin fangs. Powder keg. The corpse. Ooh. Yeah, they're impressed. I could tell. Oh, is there still more fighting? There's still more fighting! Oh yeah, the good times. The good times. See, Blue, that could have been us. Maybe she realizes that Katniss and Moe are only going to be here for so long, and so she's more apt to give them the opportunity to high-five me. Because, you know, I can high-five her anytime, son. Because we're all the time hanging out and being good friends. This better be really important. Boys, the kids are, are about to pass out. And if you're watching this while you're going to bed, that might be a good thing if I didn't randomly yell so much. Okay, okay. We're here. The, the really exciting exclamation mark. So what is it that we had to have? Is it this strawberry? Blue? I think we can pick those elsewhere, especially if we visit elsewhere. We'd be regarded as a, a new type of Khajiit. Because like according to the phase of the moon, when a Khajiit is born, determines how humanoid and or cat-like they are. Okay, there's just people out here in the mountains that need killing. <laughs> I'm, I didn't realize, I didn't realize. Get over here! Oh no, I've got hung on a thing while I was trying to dash over there. It's so sad. You girls need some help? You need someone to do all the work? I'm just the tiger man for the job. Oh no, that was a cat man. I didn't notice, because they're not very distinct <laughs> in this game's art style. Celebrous dropped, they all had, or several of them had. Several. Oh, is this a cat lady too? Well, you still tried to kill me. What the hell am I doing? Man, I let you crowd distract me with it. It's hiding exclamation mark. And now we ain't getting nothing done. Okay, at least we've spent less than like a minute total in the menus. Oh, dear God. Uh, that probably won't hurt us. <sighs> Did you, Mo? Well, if I say go, will you run to it? Okay. Mo looks real excited. Of course, she has a quest for us in World of Warcraft, so we're going to follow her. Oh, you led me into some sort of stealth goblin. Okay, was he just... Was he alone? The music says he is, and me and Katniss did everything that fight, literally, so we high-five. Mo, please tell me you're still in let's-get-this-shit-done mode. Okay, good. Hey, Blue. Mo, do you have any idea how to get there? Is your pathfinding broken? I think it might be. <laughs> I think it might be. Oh, dear Jesus. I would love to, but you wait until I look away and you teleport it. Okay. Mo, I'm here. Please, Mo, please, please. I'm here. I'm like Homer. As soon as he gets off work, I'm here, Mo. She's, it's just broken. It's just broken. Oh, you just wanted me to fight more goblins. Goblin Slayer's been getting to you in these several months. That you were waiting for me and Blue to rematerialize, or me specifically, because Blue's always there in the rift. 
Cutting wind. The Goblin Slayer got in the mud. It was like, always be slaying. Thanks for the high five. And the heels. The heel five. Thanks, Blue. All right, Mo. This is your chance to prove that your <laughs> character AI actually understands where you're trying to get. I promise I'm right behind you. You don't have to turn around. We're ignoring that goblin. If you all ignore him, I'll ignore him. Goblin Slayer ain't got no. You found it. Don't you open that box. Oh, no, the wrong button. I gave it all up. Fine, it's my money anyway. So, it doesn't matter. It's my money and I need it now. Are we over there? Fighting flying foes. Where have you girls led me? This isn't the quest. What the hell is that? Well, I guess we're in a boss fight now. <laughs> you girls tricked me into a boss fight, did you? Alright, I ain't scared. I ain't scared of this thing. I ain't afraid of no golem. Boom splitter. Boom splitter. Boom splitter. I'm the additional ham splitter. Okay, I need to let my stamina actually recover instead of doing my usual thing of praying and using consumables. So let's go stand over here for a second while Mo does all the work. Okay, here I come, Mo. I'm helping. I'm helping Mo. Mo, 10 fate, Mo, help. I spawned into his hand. Blue avenged me. The lightning came from Blue. She's trying to help me. So does this just hack go on forever? I'm mashing buttons, I promise. I promise. Does it not end until the girls help me? <laughs> Is this them teaching me a lesson about hubris? It's hard not to have hubris when you can spin to win. I'm like a combination of Sonic and Vegeta, son. <laughs> when you're this good at spinning and winning, how can you not? How can you not? I'm, I'm just standing on his hand and mashing. I got lucky. Okay, I can't hit healed any higher, unfortunately. Unfortunately, Van Halen. Don't look. Don't look! I'm gonna get your shoulder. I ran away like a hero, Blue. Like a hero. Oh no, I need that good buff. I have it, but I need the new version. <laughs> I need the new patch. I can't get to your shoulder, you cheating bastard. Okay, Blue did the... Blue knows what's up. Well, shit! <laughs> I, I'm, I, I can't believe how much I'm helping while getting my ass beat. That's how you know it's authentic. Okay. I think I have to actually hit the, like, little gym part of it. I can't just half-ass it. Let's climb up there, then, and do something about this fucking thing. Piss me off. Boy's ruining my whole fuck Sunday. Make me climb up this damn arm. First and foremost, powder charge. Powder charge. Okay, give her a couple of stabs. Just doing all the work. Jump away. And a boosh. Uh, that should have done more of the work, <laughs> I think, for everything I just put into it. Okay, he's about to unleash uh, hail. Don't be in front of him. Okay, I'm going to have to climb up him again. They, he, they made the one enemy that the helm splitter doesn't work on because his attack points on the direct top of his fucking head. Doing all the work, doing all the work. Neck bones, baby, neck bones. Catless, what are you doing up here? I got him, all right? I'm doing all the work. Did I plan a charge before I fail? Let's find out. No, of course not. That would be too cool. No splitter. Well, that was my last attempt to finish him off. Here it comes, boys! All the work, baby! All the work! Blue. Did you see me, Blue? What night call? What night call? What night call? Anybody want to high-five me? Anybody? <laughs> Why y'all got to take this away from me? I feel like I contributed that time. Oh, yeah, and Skadoosh. Dappled ore. That seems good. That seems real good. And amongst the bones... A small thing. How did you know? How did you girls know? Okay. Did we get everything in this boss arena? Look at me phasing through. 
the loot point. $300 in the bones. Beast skin times two in the bones. It's getting dark and spooky, you girls. Maybe we should camp before we actually go do the quests. Oh, that was a bird. I was about to start spinning and I was about to start winning, boys. I was about to start winning. Magic metal. Is that what you use to make magic armor? Hey, pig! <laughs> Bye, pig! Scrag a beast and I a frog. Good advice, Blue. All right. I'm wore out, and luckily it's camping time. Is it? Okay, they hit that real good. If you go around that side of the rock. All right, girls. Get ready to start telling me scary ghost stories while I cook. But if you make them too scary, I'm going to need you all to snuggle up next to me when we're camping. <laughs> so I don't get too scared at night. You crowd are lucky I'm here for hyper-realistic meats. Hyper-realistic meats. Oh, but the evening's so early. We could hang out and be good friends and tell embarrassing high school stories, son. Did I ever tell you girls about the time I sat in math class and just read Magic the Gathering novels? <laughs> when the teacher came up to me to ask for my work, I literally just said, what work? Because I wasn't paying enough attention to know that we were supposed to be doing something. Son. Tommy always brings that story up because he sat in front of me. That's the truth. Wow, you girls don't seem real interested. I didn't know we'd camped here before. Leave it to y'all. Alright. Let's see what the girls are currently thinking about. Where do we go now? Sweet Katniss of my yine. Uh, she's saying she don't want to go to bed, son. Well, you could stay up all night eating s'mores and watching for bears or fat raccoons. I realize we only had this one little tiny TP tent. I guess we could all lay in there in a pile like kittens. It's a natural ability of the beast wren. Although, the only way to make it work is if we're all asshole naked. I don't make the rules, but I strictly enforce them. Let's go to bed. Boken, indeed. Just keep being you, Blue. Just keep being fantastic. Okay, I'm facing completely the wrong direction. Whoosh. This way. Uh, sort of. <laughs> sort of. All right, girls, are you ready for plot progression? Hmm. Do we take the narrow passage where we can be ambushed, or do we take the high ground where we can use dragoon tactics? You're like, I don't think it counts as Dragoon Tactics if you jump off a cliff, Uncle Tenfei. <laughs> I think you've got to jump first. Technicalities. Go, Mo. Is that a thing you can blow up or climb? What the hell are we going to get up here now? And you crowd have had notice of treasure chests. And it had to be <laughs> surrounded by goblins. How did you know? Here, help. Pre-buff me. Oh, okay, fine. I don't want pre-buffs. Sour grapes ass pre-buffs. Here comes that dragoon boy! <laughs> the ultimate technique, and it worked. It worked! Whoosh! I can't stop killing. Good work, everybody. 
Okay, precious garbage or a treasure chest, they're equally valuable. One of these has already been open. I'm mad. The other one's not even here. Did I dream it? It's on the map. And if it's on the map, it's got to be fact. An emergent vitality tome. That would require going in the menu to use it, so it might be forbid knowledge. Oh, is it this? Is this the treasure? Is this thing the treasure? Or is it inside of here? <laughs> Mo, I appreciate the enthusiasm of you coming up here with me, so I don't look like a total jackass, but I don't think that's going to work. What if we were to destroy it? Okay, here's how we're going to go about this. I'm going to put one of these down. Did it not let me? Oh, God. She can't take hold. I guess we can put it underneath it. Hey, what the hell's happening? Or am I supposed to push it? Well, first of all, Mo, please don't be on the thing when I destroy it. Because somehow it'll be my fault. <laughs> this thing I've chosen to do. Okay, I was trying to see if I could grab... Is this like a trap you're supposed to send down there to the goblins or something? Stop climbing up into it. God damn the playthrough. This poor playthrough. Never stood a chance. Okay, there we go. Now we can all run over here. And I can do this. Yep, it was totally fucking worth it. It was totally fucking worth it! You know what? Sour grapes in a box. That's what that treasure is. We've still got to figure out how to get where the hell we're going. Because obviously we can't take this path right here because the game developers were like, no, no. Or can we? We're going to try to climb it. Because the game is not Breath of the Wild. I am not an elf boy hero. I'm the much superior tiger boy hero. Boys, when you crowd finally go back to your Arisen, I can only imagine the stories you're going to have for them. This is where we killed that powerful beast from the east. Okay, how is this so difficult to get to this damn town? I feel like we've been there before. Is that not the main road that we were just on? We're in the damn menus, Ben. But a waypoint that... <sighs> so, logistician. It apparently occurred. Whatever the hell that means. Look, I'm sequence breaking. My, I'm Skyrimming my ass up here. You're like, please, Uncle Tenfei, don't use the expression Skyrimming my ass. Even if it is appropriate. Or at the very least, just save it for blue. So it's sensible and has a purpose. Okay. This is where we were earlier and you crowd were excited, I think. Okay, what's the current path we're taking? I, I promise it's not even a bit. I told myself, I was like, look, I've got to make that playthrough interesting and not just running around having no fucking idea what I'm doing. But we've learned that that's the only way the Tenfei can play the game. Yeah, that's the main road, and it leads to that dead end. I think, unless we were are we on this side path. No, could, well, that goes... Okay, okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. The girls were just talking about something. I, I can't tell you what it was. Oh, dear God, another big monster to kill. If they don't see us, we don't see it. Here's one of them auxiliary rift stones. Just to break up the monotony of me running around, not knowing what I'm doing, we'll pop in here for a second. I was trying to see if we proc the secret Freya stone again, like we did that one time. Hey there, uh, Regulo. What do you get up to? A modest talent. I want to see your risen. Okay. <laughs> I see. You got a nice balance. 
go in between you and your fawn I could, that I can appreciate. God bless that crowd. Well, look at you hiding, hiding back here. And who made you, Mr. Bald-Headed Man? The dragon? Okay. Okay. It's not a combination you see very often. A little beastron gal that's made her a bigger beastron man. It'd be like the reverse of this playthrough, where the player character is blue, and she made herself uh, a tiger himbo pawn <laughs> to run around and soak up the damage. Gay Yoon. Okay, well this has been a fun diversion. Leave the rift. So you Oh no, was, it, you, Blue was about to tell us about a secret illness. But then we had to kill some goblins. Then we had to kill some goblins. That should be... You could end every sentence of Dragon's Dogma 2 with, and then I had to kill some goblins. That's just a, a way of life here. It was tremendous. I see it wasn't high five worthy though. Just saying. That's the only metric I measured by. I vaguely recognize that campsite. Are these more bandits? They better be, because I'm going to board them, son. I'm going to board them. You can't stop me once I start cutting wind. Okay, I've got to learn that uh, if you're not near the enemy and you're just mashing... Oh, are you crowd my allies? Yes, that's true. We're good friends. I guess this box got opened by us. Hey, no, Katniss. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Thanks. It's tough doing all the work. Is that another damn rift stone? And there's like a house. I know we've been here before. Let's get the hell out of here. A beetle bug. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear God, where have I led us? Okay. We need to be on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. My snow leopard lady is being real good friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. Get over here! Jackass. Oh yeah, bro fist with mo fist. Oh, I just wanted the he healing. Who the hell are you, Anne? Oh, you're a player character just wandering around. Valk made you. I say, you two look like you're very good friends. You're very, very good friends. Oh, I'm slicing grapes. A lot of error from the meandering, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, where is the road? <laughs> where is the mini map? Doesn't do a very good job of identifying paths because it shows like a road somewhere, and then you look, and it's just like a uh, two bushes with enough room to walk in between them. Like that's a bit generous calling that thing a road. That's hardly a path. Who left this stoutness extract out here? You crouch just cooling off your feet. Pulling off your cat feet. It's important. Lieutenant Dan would agree. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. Everything's working out. There's no end to the good times that everyone's having. Okay. The minimap says this is the road. The minimap says this is the road. Let us run down the minimap's road. Yep. 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 Oh, it continues around here. Hey, guys! You remind me of a bunch of assholes I'm gonna kill! Oh, no, what's happening? Luckily, somebody ran up and, uh, handed me some Robitussin. You getting frozen in the water, buddy? You having a good time? I got to you before the tentacle fuck monster could, at least. Oh, we did a damn fine job. 
correcting these lizard men. Oh yeah. Thanks, Blue. It was all worth it. And I leveled up. I leveled up just because Blue finally gave me some camaraderie. And I'm a better thief, son. I get the slightest bit of attention from Blue, son, and all my stats start skyrocketing. It's like a Zenkai boost. It's a Tenfei boost. All right, mini map. Mini map. Is this the road? You say this is the road, mini map. And who am I to question you? More bandits to kill. How did you know? My absolute favorite. Oh, I completely missed. Oh, gave him the good stuff because Blue was standing there watching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't need to make camp, but I do need the Mo Fist. There's no fist like Mo Fist. A secret treasure for me. That's good, <laughs> I guess. Oh, that's that dragon. I was about to say, what the hell is that thing? But I realized it's a dragon wing. Let us return once we've grown. Oh, they're talking about this as being a campsite. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is this not really not going to connect to the village? This shouldn't be. This something's had. Yeah. There's no reason I'm having such difficulty doing this. Other than this playthrough is cursed. <laughs> and every second I'm spending right now is reminding me that you kids were right to lose hope in it. Oh, this is a Jelly Blob monster. Check this shit out, Jelly Blob Coon. Come at me, Jelly Blob Coon. Oh! <laughs> well, shit, it was super effective. It is a shame, though. You girls didn't get to experience any slime tentacles or nothing, son. It could have been Ishizoku Viewers Episode 3 for you girls. I mean, we can't go all the way around like that. I don't want to keep going this way because that damn dragon's there. Yeah, the road doesn't even continue from there. Maybe I should, like, cut out <laughs> some of the meandering. Oh, yeah, there was a treasure chest up there, wasn't there? Uh, can't get to it without... Uh, making the dragon notice us. Now, does the dragon, like, <laughs> just keep fighting until it kills us? Or do you do a certain amount of damage and it, like, runs away? <sighs> I want to make the playthrough more exciting, but... Can I save? Just in case I die, does that work? I guess save and continue means it would. Let's see what happens if we go near it. I mean, they wouldn't put this thing here just to kill you, would they? That's got a lot of fucking health bars, boys! Let's see if we actually do damage when we interact with it. And <laughs> we'll decide from there. If I'm ever allowed to stand up again. Oh god, my dragonborn heart, or whatever. <laughs> my arisen heart! I spun on top of him, and then I kept spinning and ended up below it. That's the path of the spinner. I mean, we could stay here for two months and beat on him. <laughs> we might deplete that HP. I guess the main downside to this class is uh, stamina management. Yeah, don't climb up him. Trying to hit him in his dragon mouth. There we go. God, Moe's already down. Yeah, this is a mistake. Why is this here? Does Capcom just like, oh, you you don't like your shitty recycled goblin encounters? Well, what if we just have a dragon kill you? That's good game design. Dark Souls told us that killing the player character means we're doing a good job. And no one online's allowed to get mad. <sighs> what a mess. Can I interact with the menu? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't even remember your name, the director. Itsuno. Itsuno, I think, was his name. God bless his heart. God bless his heart. Uh. Okay, good. We're back here. Can we just run past it? Do we even want to do that? Do we even want to do that? 
I can't believe how difficult a time I'm having doing such a simple job of just running to this village. I really am hopeless. Can I have this fish? I can. Oh boy! I caught him like a bear. I have to cook you girls some of my famous delish fish dish. Next time we camp. Triangle doesn't pick things up. It's because I play, played Elden Ring. <laughs> the games are so inconsistent now with their buttons. Who's this cool guy walking through the woods? Oh. Uh, you're not a Eastern, so I don't really have any words to waste on you. You know, I'm not having a bad time just playing the game. And I guess if you all are getting too bored, you can always take a break. I don't know why I'm acting like it's any different. <laughs> the views in this year. I think it's just because episode six, like, didn't even reach 100 reviews in like a month. <laughs> so even for a Tenpei video, it's pretty bad. But then again, the latest episode of Standard Issue Samurai, which I believe is 11 kind of did the same thing. I never want to interact with you again. I didn't even read his name. Yes, okay, we're yeah, we're right back here. We're right back here. So what is the, the secret trick that Itsuno wants me to discover? There's our secret favorite cart. Our secret favorite cart that we're not allowed to do anything with. All right, you come down here. You can't advance any further. We're just going to follow this wall to our left until we are at the destination. So what have you crowd seen now that you think is an exciting thing to interact with? I need to pay better attention to y'all. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. What does this mean? What does it mean? It doesn't even show up on the map. Is it this dead rat? Did y'all want me to feel bad by showing me a dead rat? Because it didn't work. Unless it's an undead rat. I'm sure Bloomborough has got to have at least one undead rat in it, right? God, I am wore out. <laughs> Doing such a bad job this playthrough. I mean, this is how I would be playing the game if I was just playing it. You do it. You do that, Mo. <laughs> I appreciate her enthusiasm for uh, breaking stuff. I honestly do. I honestly do. Okay, we're back here where we fought that, like, crystal monster. Oh, that was a little slightly deeper than I thought. I was worried for the briefest of moments. For the briefest of moments, I was worried. <laughs> you know what? Maybe watch this playthrough at 1.5 speed. I'll try to talk a bit slower so it doesn't sound as weird. Okay, have we discovered the path through the mountains to the south? Is that how it works? I see another crystal golem. Yes, yes it is, Mo. If you could lead the way, I would be more than happy to follow you. Oh, this is where we killed those bandits hundred years ago. Because there's that uh, cat lady that we justifiably defended ourselves against. Very honorably and heroic. Like, heroic, some would say. Moy heroico. I believe they say south of the border. Oh, look, the secret box no one wanted me to have, and I found it. It was $1,300. Blue has to show up fashionably late because she's so cool. I see that, Griffin. Don't think I don't. I'm glad none of y'all did. Be like, look, her risen. A flying catbird monster. Let's run over and hit it. I found another secret rift stone. Or what could have been a secret rift stone? Oh, it's one of these summon points. 
Ishtara and Malachi. Malachi. Something like that. You kind of look like you take the game real serious. Although I could say there's some aspects of your character design that I can knowingly nod to. It's not my particular cup of tea, but I can appreciate the aesthetic. I almost fell to my death, I assume. There's so many secret box. No, Mo, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like Sam and Max answering the phone. Okay. I have a lot of those. Those are generic healing potions, aren't they? In fact, they're here on my bar if I ever need to shotgun one. Although I think my current max HP is my current max HP. Does anyone know how to navigate this nightmare hell of a world? Anyone. <laughs> anyone. I guess we got to cross. No, isn't that what we just did? I feel like I'm going to have to start looking up walkthroughs <laughs> for all the, the quests and s such before I do them. Because otherwise, it I'm never going to get through this damn video game. We're all aggravated together. It's the only thing that gives me solace. I don't even care that that happened. <laughs> I welcome the pain. Is there anything in the quest description that's like, oh, but you can't get there because some shit happened? Suspicious adventure to Vermont's eastern edge and scour for evidence. Eastern edge of Vermont. I'm trying, dear God, aren't I trying to venture over to this fucking piece of land. There's no way there's a bridge or a land bridge right there. I refuse to believe it. I know this is, I know exactly where this is leading, don't worry. You could cast a damn healing spell, you know, <laughs> instead of using consumables. That's how RPGs are supposed to work. For once, I agree with Henry and Margaret by association. And there's no other way across. This is infuriating. Infuriating. I mean, how obvious is what I'm missing? Like, is every one of y'all watching just rolling your eyes? I mean, like, look at this obvious thing Tianfei's supposed to do to advance the game state. To advance the game state. Oh, well. There's that damn Cyclops yet again. Yeah, let's kill it. So the something happens in this damn playthrough. Are we also being shot by... Oh, we're having rocks thrown at us. That's pleasant. That's pleasant. God damn! Pick an aggravating fucking spot to fight me on. Why don't you? And the lizard men's decided to get involved. Good for them. Good for them. Oh, come the fuck on. Why was I a nap part away from his fucking face right then? You're doing it, Blue! Just gonna cut at your frozen dick. I'm just gonna cut at your frozen dick, boys. Get smoked, shit lord! 
And then to blow up his asshole to finish the job. Ooh! I think I did a good majority of the work that time. Katniss agrees. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to having no fucking idea what I'm doing. <laughs> AKA the playthrough. Alright, where I am standing, right here. Apparently that also counts as I guess the this is supposed to imply that the map we have is like old and outdated and how the land changes over time due to environmental forces and you know realism and all that. And I, I appreciate that. That that's real classy. It's in a but you know what else it is? Real assy. I know James Rolf will back me up. He has the thrust six or seven times. All right, it's raining. Oh, hey. He came dashing in. Mo just, like, did a cool backflip and broke his neck with her ass, son. He didn't even deserve that. It was too good for him. At least you all were good friends. Does this tell me what time of day it is? Probably not. Who cares? We should probably just camp again so I can cook some of this food before it goes bad. Just sitting out in the rain. That's part of camping. I've only got this rotten scrag. I guess I don't, can't cook that fish. Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, we get it. You filmed a steak. <laughs> Good job. Mo had nothing to say. We just camp next to this dead man, son. Even the ghosts were too scared to come after his son. I was able to tell all the creepy pasta stories I wanted. I'll never stop hitting triangle. I like I, I, I mash it, and I guess he gets hung up in a do stab loop because I stop and he continues for another good second or so. It's quite humorous. I realize we're retread in the same ground but I don't know what else to do okay there's where we've been a hundred times in the past god there's already another campsite I guess this is a real popular tourist destination okay are we uh, okay I'm sorry it's just usually when I encounter people in the woods they have to be killed okay yep <laughs> we've already been here just follow the trail of corpses She's real excited about herbs. God bless her. God bless her. I dashed away so I could dash in. That's how it works. That's how it works. Mo fist. There's no fist like Mo fist. Not saying it's the best, though, of course. That goes to blue. I guess we're going to have to look for bridges that aren't on the map because the map is old and outdated. Remember, that's the what we've decided. You cried a free spawn. That's good for me. Additional killing for me, please. Here, you can uh, hold that for me for a second. Let's go, douche. <laughs> I'm doing the best job. I'm doing the best job. Right, Blue? Girls? <laughs> Anyone? Okay. Okay. All right, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. We're all having a good time. We're all sharing laughs. We're just gonna run past fucking Dragon. <laughs> Oh, did the dragon despawn? Is this where he was originally? Oh, you did not just shoot Mo in the back. Like the asshole you are. I accidentally blew that boulder up with my intense powers.
Did we do it, girls? Yes. You crowd need to come out here and get your ass kicked. Wasting everybody's damn time. Sport fucked in the corner. Oh, you just kind of walked out of the corner. <laughs> it's a bold strategy, and it almost worked. It almost worked. Good job, Blue. Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate that, Mo. Oh, yep. Just deflect me off the heels. Well, look at that. Quaint bridge. Quaint bridge. I'm being a logistician again. Are we in combat? Where are you? Why you got to be directly under me, man? Everything you crowd does piss me off, son. No wonder the Goblin Slayer hates y'all so much. Okay. Mo is 100 miles away fighting enemies. <laughs> God bless her. God bless her. I found a gravestone. Is that important? We'll never know. Dragoon Tactics! They kind of work. It kind of worked. Here comes that boy! <laughs> I did all the work. Oh, is there a siren? I feel like I hear singing. I feel like I hear singing somewhere. And it's pissing me off. Yep, I see it now. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Where's the other one? Will we ever see her again? Oh, wait, you're my ally. In an unforgiving world. There you are. And there you go. Oh. I do love that I have a here comes that boy button. Please blow the high fives. The high five. Oh, yeah. Ooh. It was all worth it. Yeah, you're welcome, by the way. All right, have we done a good job advancing the game state yet? Yeah. Oh, that was a cemetery is why I found a gravestone. That kind of makes sense. Or it makes too much sense. <laughs> I don't trust it's an A. You notice we're doing nothing to get us near our actual objective. The thing it's an O denies us more than anything else. Our actual destination. The wolf was just a bonus. You crowd are very weak. Did you know that? I didn't even have the girls with me. Are y'all crowd? <laughs> you poor girls hung up? Oh, I have faith in them. They'll catch up eventually. Plus, it's easier to ignore monsters if I'm by myself. No wooing! Oh no, the, here comes that boy button. I like how you were just hanging out with this deer. A wolf and a deer being good friends. Who's ever heard of such a thing? Luis Senpai looking over at his second monitor now. <laughs> with a disapproving look. With a disapproving look. All right, is that that fort where we killed those bandits a little bit ago? No, because there's one still alive that we somehow didn't get. That we somehow didn't get. Was he just hiding the first time, or did we just not notice him? Because I notice you now. Taru Senpai noticed you. Thanks. Hey, secret box. 
Secret box. Topography. Ah, oh, but is this it? Is this the dream? No, that just takes us right back over there. Damn it. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was possible to actually advance the game, but it's a no showed me that there's no such thing as hope in Dragon's Dogma 2. Sorry, Mo. Hey, another secret rift stone. Oh, there's one of them hero medals. One of them Korok seeds back there. I see it. I see it. All right. Hey. hey, Azura, aren't you like a Daedric prince? Who the hell made you the tyrant, son? Wesker was involved. Wesker was involved. You mean that box? Well, isn't that fucking lovely? <laughs> it just slid me down in the water. The tentacle monster down there licking his lips. Wake stone shard. Okay. Alright. I have icy swords. Do you girls know something I don't? <laughs> You sense some hostility that I don't? Uh, that's that. You have my support, just like April O'Neil. Here comes that boy! See, you didn't even get the whole ah woo out before I punished you. I need more beast meat. Damn you. Damn you. <laughs> too bad off to walk up a hill. I'm too bad off. What is my current weight? Okay, I'm just at average. I'm just at average. I fell down a hole and it was frightful. And one of you fell off a cliff, didn't you? It was blue. God bless her heart. God bless her heart. Well, isn't this lovely game design, Itsuno? Isn't this just fantastic game design? I see the slug monsters. Okay, good. You rest yourself or your friend helped you. <laughs> Someone other than me rest you, and that's a good thing. Damn, man. So where do we come out at? God, I was praying we'd be over there somehow. We went underwater. Oh, so there was just this little secret path to get that one treasure chest and to fall off a cliff <laughs> so that half my pawns died. That's good. That's good. Got to have that morning tide. Okay. I'm slightly helping. <laughs> but only slightly. Well, luckily Mo was here to do basically all the work. Okay, I thought maybe you'd bro fist me, but I guess since you did all the work... I don't deserve the Mofist. Cinematic moment. Uh, okay. Are we supposed to think you're a big deal, buddy? You know how many Cyclopses I've killed? I just gotta be careful not to fall off the cliff. I knew that was coming, but I was too invested in slashing. And you can't expect me not to be, boys. You can't expect me not to be. Oh, I love this. I wish it took six hours to stand up. I'm standing in the worst spot to be helm splitting, apparently. Ow. The fights in this game just feel like 
drawn out brawls. It's like there's no elegance to it. I guess that's just my style, but still. Okay, my icy blades are back, and that's good. Hit him with that lightning blue. Oh great, you crowd are here. Everything's better now. We finally froze his ass. Literally. Now we just mash and mash and mash and mash. You bring the bangers, I'll bring the mash. Uh, I was about to do the final spin to win, but now I've got to spend 25 hours standing up. Video games, video games! Oh, he moved ever so slightly. Excuse the fuck out of me. I guess I'll just do an icy slash to your ass. Okay. Blue, did you want the high five? The game can't let me have anything, so... If you did, I missed it. I missed it. Okay. Adventure. <laughs> Exciting adventure. We're doing the best job of getting to this village, by the way, son. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, son. I'm telling you. I can't believe this. It was just a beetle bug just hanging out in the middle of the road. Uh, that's not what I wanted to target. Can you target the flying lady? Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? I guess it is. I guess it is. There. Oh, I thought that was a monster. I guess he was just falling over and dying. I guess he was just falling over and dying. Oh, God, it never ends. Still more a wooing. Not a corn through a horn. How will we ever recover? How will we ever recover? I never stop spinning and or winning. Thank you, Katniss. Thank you. Oh, no. This is heavy, Doc. I gotta stop and eat my beetle bugs. It shouldn't take too long. Okay. Oh, seamless. Seamless. And also like how you're using your multiverse <laughs> theorems to point out that there's a chest coming up. There's also lizard boys. There's also lizard boys. Here comes that boy! Something big seems to be happening that I might not be well, 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 privy to. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah, there you go. See you next autumn, jackass. I guess I just won't get what his drops were. What a shame. Speed me up. Oh, are you talking about that cool time, my uh, blue sweetheart? Honey, don't get run over. Come on. You got to have some self-preservation. Jesus. Uh, that crowd's fucked. Oh, never mind. Divine intervention saved them. I guess something's throwing rocks at us? Is that what we're supposed to be gathering? Oh, hey. A bunch of hateful bird bitches for me to kill. Get over here, please. All right, I gotta be under you. Right about here. Damn it. Oh, I'm ever so slightly higher. Tee hee, tee hee. Oh, luckily the magic ladies did all the work. You did it, Katniss. No, I wanted to high five you. How come the game's got to cheat me? 
least you're good friends with Blue. At least you're good friends with Blue. Hey, sweetheart, you want to come down here? Get your ass kicked? Didn't think so. Oh, yeah! Oh, I'm unconscious now. It's it's a good time. It's a good time. Look at this. Thank God Blue is here with her lightning. Game balance. Game balance. Fun times. Oh, look, more goblins. I think I've exposed, like, every problem of Dragon's Dogma 2 in this one recording session. If you ever needed a review of Dragon's Dogma 2, this episode serves it as a diegetic. No, what? Okay. Every time I'm cheated out of a high five with cool cat ladies, I get mad. Okay, I got to do stuff in my inventory, so I will edit this out for y'all. <laughs> I realize I dropped that rat rotten scrag of beast. I didn't realize it would become a physical item in the world. A physical item in the world. How far? I, I can't just keep wandering. We've got to figure out how to get to this damn village. <laughs> it seems so easy, man. Can we warp back to town? Isn't that a thing you can do? I've used one before in between recorded sessions. Okay, take me back to the main town, and I'm going to try to <laughs> recover from this nightmare that I've put us through. Ah, oh, the good times. All right, we'll take care of some town business, and I will cut out any boring menuing or shopkeeping, and you crowd will continue to have a good time. Can I upgrade anything just now? The stuff I'm not wearing, I could. Jesus, that shit's expensive to upgrade. I mean, I know it's part of that quest line and it's expensive gear. Damn. What about blue? Nothing. Okay, good. All right, I sold some stuff. Yeah, I'm real miserly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go see if I've got any new skills to help pay the bills. I still haven't learned the layout of this town, by the way. I thought for sure I was going... Oh, no, it's over here. I remembered. They tucked it away in a spot you won't easily see, so that way you look like a jackass for YouTube. <laughs> it was It's an O's vision. Okay, anything cool? Oh, can I upgrade this now? Hell yeah! My spinning becomes additional winning. Use an explosive blast to withdraw from the point of destination to blast flinching air, and uh, that's all right. Who pilfer? Okay, I would never remember to use that, and we all know it, so let's just not even pretend. <laughs> let's just not even pretend. How about you, Blue? Anything new and cool you want to learn? That's the one uh, that does afflictions. I could change Celerity, because uh, Katniss has that as well. I put it on Blue so that when I put her in the Rift, it would make people more likely to hire her. So I guess I could give you this, or no, we could go upgrade it, at the very least. Okay. I'll put that there, while we have Katniss in the party. Once she leaves, it won't really matter. Okay. That was quick and fast enough that I shouldn't have to edit it out, because I was talking to you kids at the same time. All right, we're going to leave town via the North Path, which I believe we had previously done, but I guess we just didn't do it good enough. 
<laughs> we are going to follow the road and it is going to take us to the nameless village. I went during the break <laughs> of inventory sorting slash getting up to piss and get some more water. I may have looked at a couple of YouTube videos on how to do this quest, and all of them are like, yeah, you just go out of town and run to the village. do ba da ba -do. I'm like, is that pile of rubble that's blocking me? Does that only exist in my game world? Oh, we should have slept in a bed while we were in town to get full stats. Okay, I'm going to do that, and I will cut it, and we'll be right back here. Oh, okay. Well, this time when I came back and slept, Blue apparently got hired in the riff. So I guess I'll leave this part in at the very least, and we can see what kind of adventures she got up to. I only accompanied this Risen for a short time. The Risen was well fond of changing my equipment. Oh, was he now? I shall strive to apply these experiences to our journey. Okay. Well, she got a couple of hearts. She defeated a Cyclops. That's good, son. She looks real nervous, so I'm giving her this evaluation. Don't worry, Blue. There's nothing you could ever do to make me scoff at you. Uh, these are the gifts she was given. A warming salve. Some exquisite dried meat, son. If they'd given you a big cheese wheel, Blue, they'd have been a keeper. Indrid Penny and Marie Ritus. Winona, Winona Ryder, apparently. And Izzy. Izzy and Injured are the only ones that gave Blue a heart, though, son. Just saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just put them all in storage. <laughs> Give all to Tenfei. You're like, yes. All right. Well, there you go. If you're any of these people, then thanks for being good friends with Blue. means a lot. Uh, I guess we should give her another quest, then. I guess we'll keep... Uh, Doing this one until she completes it. And we will reward. I don't have enough, that much money. Tell you what. I know just the thing. Jesus, that jumps quick when you hold the button down. Perfect. Perfect. Now see, one of y'all that watches this episode needs to hire Blue and be the recipient of her 6969 reward. Like, is he talking about the money? Oh no. <laughs> I've become lost in town. Lost in town. It's so shameful. Once again, that poor night captain guy sitting at that bar just weeping openly. They just rolled the keg over to his table because <laughs> he was getting so many refills. Can you take me to the nameless village? Do any of you do that? Do any of you do that? What does this say? I guess I could ask the people. Melv. Melv. That's not the secret village, I don't think. Okay, we're finally on our way. We can make it on our own. Look at this beautiful new morning full of promises and possibility. The endless bounty of adventure is ours, girls. I'm here giving <laughs> the most inspirational speech. Where's Mo? Okay, there you are. You and Blue hanging back. Uh-huh. Trading Pokemon cards, and look what happened. You almost missed the bus. Okay, I'm going to check every few seconds. We are on the road <laughs> to Viridian City and or the Nameless Village. As soon as I finish this quest, we can finally <laughs> release Mo and Katniss. I'm sure their Arisen is looking forward. I wish it showed you what they were going to say. No, no, not goblins. We're taking this side route. And then getting back on the road. Triangle doesn't pick up items. I have to learn it every time. 
even in the same recording session. No, you're not distracting me with this nonsense. All right, once again, we are on the road. Now, we want to be here, and this road can get us there. Okay, we don't want to take that path. We want to go over the next one. And then we can either run all the way around that way or all the way around the other way. But either way, we're going to be over here. And nothing bad's going to happen, right? 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 Isn't this how we, like, started the episode? <laughs> oh, God, they didn't notice us. We're not in combat. We're not in combat! The music doesn't know what it's talking about. Come on, girls. We're going Vash to Stampede style. Love and a peace. That includes eggs. Why did you lay your lizard man eggs on the side of the road? I'm glad you brought enough sandwiches and Lunchables and high seas for everybody, Katniss. I knew I could believe in you. Although blue always makes me a personalized bento. Or, well, she makes some for herself, but every day she somehow accidentally just makes too much. And so she gives it to me so it won't go to waste. Oh, great. I accidentally ended up in fucking combat and adventure. Combat and adventure. Blue took care of this situation, boys. Oh, that was all the work she did. Uh, look at that sarcastic clap as Katniss stole Blue's high five. Here comes that boy! Here comes that boy 2.0. Didn't he have time to get my swords good and icy before I killed him? Before I killed him. Good work, Mo. Good work, Blue. Blue, yes! No, come on, come on, come on, come on! I guess that counts. I guess if you have your weapons out, it doesn't let you high five. Everything gets to know does in this video game pisses me off in some way. Okay. Okay, look at this. We're still on the road. And it's going to get us there this time. Do We're going to do the exact same thing, and the outcome is going to be different. Just to prove how sane we are. I know you girls love statues, but I love Advance of the Game State. And also, <laughs> giving the viewer what they want. Don't acknowledge him. Whenever Blue isn't on screen, the viewer should be asking, where's Blue? She should also have access to a time machine, so she could go back in time and stop me from ruining this playthrough. I hear some vague noises. Vague noises. Alright, here's this bridge again. I see it. I see that same damn shore. That same damn shore. Okay, you fight them boxes. I'm gonna go help this guy. I'm gonna go. You're both lining up. Oh no, Katniss! I was waiting for the icy daggers. Everyone did a good job. Everyone did a good job. Oh, yeah. It was blue. It was superb. Yeah, you're welcome. Everybody loves you. Oh, look. It seems the road is impassable. But that's okay, because this is what Itsuno wants us to do. This is what Itsuno wants us to do. You can't climb it. You can't climb it. I, I don't understand. We're going to go over here. I assume these goblins or lizard men or whatever the hell's down here is going to have respawn. Oh, it's harpies this time. Harpies this time. Here comes that boy. Why is that? Oh, because I'm pressing the trigger and not the bumper. And not the bumper. Both of them. And then that boy. And then that boy. Were declared. Were declared. And yet again, there is no possible way 
to get to the damn village. <laughs> I continue to be justified in this nightmare because Itsuno did not put away the advanced game state. Why is the point of this cart? <laughs> it's Chekhov's cart. I mean, how many more times do we have to do this, old man? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, Tiger Man? Oh, I so love the leopard ladies. Yep, here I am on top of the mountain, looking over all creation. It's not that spectacular, and the frame rate's not very good. Hey, there goes our best friend. There goes our best friend. Okay, we want to be over here. Is there any spot that lets us do that? Because I believe we ran all the way over here, and there was no way up the mountain. Is that that statue you girls wanted to see? Is this the same damn bandits? What, did y'all get resurrected? Okay, I guess you want the beating. I can say you're a good tank, if nothing else. Hey, cat lady. Bye, cat lady. They just keep lining up, boys. And then that boy arrived. All the work. Right? Right? Yeah. Okay, fine. It was awkward. I guess we've already looted them. Ought we? Ought we to take a closer look? Okay, this little bridge that they put over here to make you think, oh, you got to go across this little bridge, but it's a nose like, uh uh uh. Not in my wonderful masterpiece, Dragon's Dogma 2. You don't. Huh. Oh no. The slightest hint of a boss fight. Are y'all hanging out? What is happening? Yeah, as you can see, there's clearly no way up from that side. So they want you to approach from over there. Is it possible to climb up? Can Mo shield boost me up there? If I was a sorcerer, I could levitate. I could levitate. I just have to keep checking. This is how video games are played. This is how video games are played. You just keep tr trying random shit and hoping that it works. It's either this or have the compass. Well, even if we, we have the compass, we have the damn mini-map telling us exactly where the quest objective is. And it doesn't matter. Because you can never reach it. And Itsuno refuses to explain how- oh. No, we've- we've done that. I know we've been down there before, in a previous episode. I see a chest way over there. In the damn distance. Here's that bonus rift stone. I guess we could drop down right here. Please don't fall to your impending doom, girls. Oh, God! I saw it! I saw it happening in real time! Where's Blue? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you're all here! <laughs> oh, God. The tragedy. Have I ever told you the tragedy of Tenfei the Tiger Man? Okay, here's those, like, poison lizards we fought in a previous episode. I remember it. It was probably the episode six where everybody quit watching. And we all know why. Well, I can't do dragon tactics because slopes. Because slopes were declared. Where are you going, buddy? Huh? I'm not even done stabbing you to death with my icy hell daggers. My icy hell daggers. Okay, he's just doing all kinds of shit. 
But now that my friends are here, we can kill him. Good work, everybody. What are you even attempting to do? Does anyone know? Does anyone know what these cat ladies are trying to do? We ran over here. There was a box. I think this leads to that cave. No, that was a completely different spot. Oh, was there another one of you? Damn, Harpies. Where is she at? 100 miles an hour. Of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Oh, wow. I was actually allowed to hit you with that move. Although it didn't actually drag you down here. And I hate that. So do you attack us or do you spend your entire life floating in the air? Because I know that's what Itsuno wants. Damn. Okay, Blue. It was worth it to get this magical power fist from Blue. But I'm still mad. And the game's still doing a terrible job of directing us on how to complete this quest. I could have switched to another quest, but now out of principle, I won't do it. I don't understand why I'm the only one having this problem. I need a YouTube video that shows somebody running all the way there from the village. I guess I need to find somebody's long play or stream and see what the secret is. Oh, did this shit respawn for us? Well, isn't that just dandy? Isn't that just dandy? Mo knows what's up. Mo knows what's up. She's a working gal. Of course, Blue is the hardest working snow leopard lady in all of Dragon's Dogma 2 land, whatever they call this place. And we're here. <laughs> we're back to this campsite from the previous episode. Everyone's just loving it. Everyone's just loving it. You are tenacious, buddy. Damn! <laughs> Just grabbed a hold of him. That was a combo right there. It was a combo! And then some dragoon tactics right at the end. A little plunge and attack justice right at the end. If they leveled up. Not incompetence. I can tell you that. And this is just another fun little way across the water, but not to where we want to be. Not to where we want to be. Because even if we go back up here, we're just on that same damn path. You'd think there'd be a shallow spot in the river, man. It, but, but I don't know. I don't know. It's very frustrating. Oh, is that what you do? Stealth up on the wall? I can't get mad because it's genuine. Well, it's not really Dragoon Tactics. It's too sneaky. Dragoon's got more honor than that, man. More resources. You must construct additional pylons. Okay, I'm hung in the wall. Okay. I tried to press the here comes that boy button, but like he wouldn't take his damn swords back out. Yep, <laughs> the perfect finisher. That's how you know I was serious, right, Blue? Mo understands. Even a sarcastic clap is still a form of attention. It's got the cat lady attention tiger boys crave. All right, we're right back here where we've been a hundred thousand times. The same damn bridge leading to the same damn inaccessible path. The way my <laughs> character started shaking water off of him. That's right. Every cat lady's like a snowflake to me. To me. God, ain't I crestfallen at how difficult this has proven to be. 
All right, I looked at one more video and it acknowledged this overpass. It was like, when you get to this point, you're not going to be able to go forward. And I expe fully expected the video to just end. But apparently if we go through these woods, there's some way to get over there. Are we going to have to kill that damn crystal golem again? Well, I know we got to deal with these damn things. Pigs to slaughter. Yeah, you look like you're having the best time out here in the woods. I don't know. Didn't I come over here and check all of this? Was there just one little thing I didn't see? Was it this? Was it this? <laughs> At least we got action and adventure. I don't feel as bad meandering around like that because we didn't just sit in the menu the entire time. But I'm not happy. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here before. So I guess I just wandered here for the first time by accident. It must have been in the middle of the night or something. I want to run back and see the other side of this thing so I can have closure. So I can have closure. The nightmare. The nightmare. All right. I could finally <laughs> end this quest. You do it, Mo. Oh, no, Mo. <laughs> you tricked me into the tentacle water. Blue put you up to it. I know she did. All right, well, we're finally here to actually do the damn quests. Good for us. Good for us. You're suspicious of everybody. I remember there was a store here. Maybe that'll make us feel better. Some shopping. Some shopping. Got any cool thief stuff I would want? Yeah, these don't look as cool. I think this is where we got our kerchief. Oh yeah, the wolf hood. <laughs> we could actually wear it if we really wanted to. Hmm. If you're a fan of Tiger Boy Belly, that wouldn't be bad. Oh wow, I can wear this on a thief? And have some cool armor? Oh shit. No wonder that's so damn expensive. Oh, I can't even afford half this shit. I could have some baggy pants. The Lionel Hosen. I like the name of it. I like the name of it. And we've already got that net wrap. Ring of Tenacity. Boosts maximum stamina would be really useful for us right now because I am constantly running out of stamina. Okay. You, did you, what ring did you unequip? <laughs> okay, we're not going to spend much time in the inventory. Less likely to get knocked down, carry weight, flame damage. Okay. Um, I guess this is working. We get knocked down a lot, so I'd hate to see how bad it would be if we uh, didn't have that ring. All right, now that we finally reached this place, <laughs> miracle as it is, I guess we need to investigate. What do you know about suspicious things? Uh, I guess I need to talk to the Lord of the region. To get the fat skinny on the hidden village. That's right, we put the number three marker here. I remember that now. That was a hundred years ago. That was a lifetime ago. Can you clear the marker this way? There. It had to be unintuitive. It wouldn't be a Dragon's Dogma 2 menu if it wasn't unintuitive. Hey, guys. Oh. Well, never mind then. The old noble manor. It ain't what it used to be. Is any of my stuff in here? Yes, I thought I left some stuff over here in this room. See? <laughs> I see. 
You guys are getting real excited when I start fighting gems and jewels. Gems and jewels. Oh, hey, I didn't even notice you there. If you'd have seen the mess I went through to get back here, you wouldn't be as impressed as you are right now, but let's keep going. What do you know about me, the cool tiger man? なぜ君のことを知っているか私たちは各地の集落に情報源を持っているのさ。ベルムントに現れた二人目の各社だとか。ちなみに後期おっと。あぶ。誤解しないでくれよ。後期の情報を握る者は勤めて活動かな。まあ
I see people chatting it up through the walls. Bonus Riftstone. <gasps> What's this? Oh. <laughs> well, it's mine now. Mm hmm I guess we could... Maybe one of the NPCs will eventually give us a clue. Oh no, the, the quest radius uh, bunk disappeared. Oh yeah, I was going to go in here and equip my cool new skill. あなたが噂のお客人ですかああさあこの村にそのようなものはそうですかてぞ。for that seems really satisfying. And I always forget to use the powder charge or it only comes up situationally. So let's try it out just for fun. Just for fun. Uh, maybe when you improve in snare, it'll like draw enemies towards you. Because right now it just seems to kind of take them off balance. Oh, I didn't know you could use it like that. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot. Make sure we haven't gotten any new things. As long as I'm talking to y'all and you're having a good time. Then you can't say that it's boring. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to deposit some stuff real quick. Just these materials. Just these materials. I promise. I promise, Stead Fae viewer. I don't want it to be boring as well. Just doing it now so we ain't got to worry about it later. There we go. There we go. Sure thing, buddy. Is the okay? There we go. We're back in the quest zone. Highway to the questing zone. What about in this house? Hmm. Oh, I remember this lady. You're the one that like thought I was making a pass at you, and I had to remind you that I got blue. Wasn't there like a little girl that locked herself in this room? And, like, refuses to show us her Yu-Gi-Oh cards or something, I vaguely remember. Are you noticing the treasure chests? Maybe it'll be the clue we're looking for. The greatest treasure of all. Plot advancement. Alright, where is this damn thing at? Um, okay, the map. You're telling me I'm on top of a treasure chest? And I'm just going to say it, I think you're lying? Or is it inside a cave? There are no caves here. Everything about this village is a lie. <laughs> I can't trust nothing. Can't trust nothing in this village. At least I got infinite stamina. Yeah, you guys got to keep up. I'm a hip-happening tiger man living a fast-paced tiger man lifestyle. Like Ferris Bueller. Tenfei Bueller's day off. We're at the very skirts of the questing zone. Please don't jump overboard. I don't think I can resurrect you from that. And it would be a terribly, terribly tragic end to this drawn out adventure I've brought you two girls on. Maybe at nighttime the clues come out. Maybe they glow in the dark. Nope, that's outside the question zone. Okay, we're back. I've been inside your house. There was nothing. I've been inside your crown's house. There was nothing. Can I sneak in here? Is there a way to crouch? I don't think there is.
You'd think it would be up here near the Lord's Manor. Whatever the hell it is we're looking for. I guess we could do a more thorough examination in here. Hey, buddy, I remember we chatted it up and you taught me a skill to explode myself with daggers. Well, I think you're full of shit <laughs> and you're hiding something that progresses the game state. The greatest sin you could commit. All right, there's that hole in the ceiling. Is there a way to get to that? <laughs> I like to think all this dialogue is happening diegetically. He's just listening to me. Oh, look at this cool ladder. Uh, did none of you girls notice this cool ladder? Okay. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a ton of fun to get through. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a fantastic time to deal with. All right, how do I turn my lantern on? There we go. Boom. Let's see if you girls can get down here without falling to your deaths. That'd be a rare treat. I like that you can punch and kick while you're on the ladder. Hell yeah. My horse, bud. Hey, bats. You can't be enemies? What the hell? <laughs> I was just assuming they were environmental details and they were going to fly away. I'm going to get damn rabies now. Uh. Okay. Why well, put platforming in this game? Miyazaki's involved. I Somehow I know he is. I guess they're staying up top. I don't blame them. <laughs> I don't blame them. Although, if Mo was here, she could be the best referee, since this is the most Nickelodeon guts-ass thing we've encountered. She could tell us the score on the leaderboard. Okay, we need to let that tilt down. I can't believe we're solving Half-Life 2 physics puzzles in Dragon's Dogma 2. I see the shortcut ladder. Don't worry, girls. I did all the work. If you want to come down here and help me... Hey, Blue, I'm solving environmental puzzles. You better come out and pound me. Although I have a different intention than that, than Kevin McAllister did towards his brother Buzz. Are there no enemies down here? I'll, I'll support that. There is grapes. You know they're sour. You know they're sour. Hmm. Secret path. Tells the truth. <gasps> what could it be? Hmm. Oh, you look real pleasant, buddy. You look real pleasant. Why don't you come up here and get exploded? Oh, no. I didn't think you could jump like that. Explosion! And my swords are on fire now. This is good when none of the magic ladies are around. I can still have elemental daggers. Summon elemental daggers. I can't tell if we killed that thing or not. There's too much happening. Damn man, how am I supposed to get up there? If Mo was here, she could launch me. They really are just standing up there. I'm getting lonely now. I didn't realize how much I depended on your all's attention, son. I've learned an important lesson. I almost said, like... <laughs> Amaranth in Final Fantasy IX, but that would acknowledge that he's like an actual character with actual character growth, and I just can't do it. It's not just because I'm jealous that he gets to go on the volcano adventure <laughs> with a certain dragoon lady. Far be that the reason. And it's not just because I'm mad that he's on the damn North American Final Fantasy IX box art for no reason. Oh, hey, you joined me up here, did you? That's kind of neat, I guess. No! Oh, God, I saved it. If only Mo were here. Damn if you can't jump! Explosion! Boys. Me and Megamine. Blameless victims. Oh, am I on fire? I think I have a potion for that, surprisingly. I don't. I mean, I could technically drink this. If only Blue were here. Secret door, secret door. Hey, guys. <laughs> what do you get up to in here? Uh, I feel like I should have my cat ladies with me. Hold on, I'll be right back. 
Oh. Well, who the hell are you? <laughs> For me to phase through. Hold on. Secret treasures are mine. Secret magical treasures were revealed to me the day I held aloft my mini Ru Final Fantasy VII Rune Blades and smashed a box open. Yeah, I figured now that I've kicked these things down, shouldn't the ladies be able to join me? What if they all fell down the hole and it's just been waiting there for me to resurrect them? I'm just taking this route because it's funner now. <laughs> oh, I was hoping he would grab that in midair. You don't seem to, like, press a button to get on the ladder. They seem to just kind of attach to it. Are you guys scared? I've done all the work, as usual. Oh, it's dark and spooky up there. Oh, my commands for them are literally gone. They must have said something to the effect that they weren't going to follow me down here, but I was doing too good a job of not paying attention. I guess that's the downside of them speaking in Nihongo knees. But... <laughs> I was going to say... But Blue's, uh, Japanese voice is too kawaii, son. Far too kawaii. She's die kawaii. 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 Okay, okay. All right. I don't feel bad backtracking. Oh, uh, are we, like, supposed to interact in some way? Did I get here ahead of you? What's going on? Yeah, I just discovered you in a secret underground cave with an obstacle course in it. But no, we ain't got nothing to talk about, do we? Do we? All right, assholes, I'm here. The Tiger Man you all love to gossip about. Oh, were y'all betting on me? Jesus, whoever, <laughs> whoever bet on me must have been watching the first part of this episode just shaking their head, burying their face in their hands. Uh, I figured, like, y'all would initiate the conversation. I guess it's on me. What say ye? Dara? The theme of Dara? Uh, no, I guess I've got more pressing business, but I'll ask this first. あんたにかけた甲斐があったって大抵のやつは勘違いして領主間に一番そういう連中には適当な土産を持たせて返してやる。ここまでたどり着けたやつだけが本物だ。育てる知りたいことはそれだけか。追放される少し前。ダラは次の主婦マスターの候補だが、奴は祝辞だ。おかげで俺しかしまさかあの時の胸の傷よく頭が回るものだと感心したよ。ダラが偽物だと証明するのは簡単じゃないぞ。あいつはこんだが、
I feel like the first time we meet the faults of Risen Blue is just going to like her hackles are going to go up and her claws and fangs are going to come out and she's just going to start hissing. And that'll make her a good girl. Hiss at my enemies. And you all kept so much of my stuff down here too. And my cool rats. I appreciate it. Oh, a tiger eye. Is that supposed to be a threat? If I find some tiger nuts, then we'll know it is a threat. Hey, some thief skaters. I don't mind trying on some pants. Blue's going to be like, you tried on pants without me? Oh, hey. You know, I kind of like the baggy style. The baggy style. Of course, we need to... No, we don't need to upgrade them. They're by default better. All right. And well, there we go. We'll just have to start upgrading them. I do want to get some of that cool armor that was for sale here in this town. Since this is the thieves town, it's probably like some of the best thief armor. If only I hadn't given up 69.69. Okay, this is how we get here. Hey gals, come on in here and hang out with me in front of this lady. I want to make sure she knows that we're all good friends. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to say something? It's just I'm surrounded by uh, cat women, and they all need my attention. They all need my attention. Uh-huh. What if I learned your village's secret thief techniques, huh? Here, Blue, come over here for just a sec. I need you to bear witness. Okay. Okay, this is a good spread. Oh, hey, Blue. Uh, while I was down there... The head thief guy said I was so cool that he taught me the pilferer's handbook technique for formless faint. Boys, Katniss and this lady must get along because she is hard to impress. How many advanced techniques I got to learn, son, before I get some encouragement? Son, she's so stern but so fair is the problem. Oh, it's spooky nighttime. The problem is I don't really want to stay here in the inn because, I mean, it's like the thief town. <laughs> I wonder if I could sell enough stuff to be able to buy some of that cool armor. Let's see. Uh, I could probably edit this out for y'all. There we go. Sold a few items. Got my number, my money number to an impressive number. And now I can get whatever thief armor I want. Which one looks the cool? Okay, this goes really good with the baggy pants. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. The Thally jacket. Oh, we can't afford the really expensive one. I just realized. Oh, I love this half plate though son it my fighter heritage comes through oh this definitely matches it but we are not gonna be able to i mean i could vendor a ton of more stuff and probably buy it but you know what i want to get this cool half plate i think between this and this i like this one more although it's weird that my neck kershaw like perfectly feels in the chest spot something about that throws me off Hmm. Oh, okay, it only covers one shoulder strap, like a classic fighter type deal. Well, that kind of balances really well with my uh, plumage thing. So, yeah, we're going to have to go with this. Equip it, yes. Okay. All right, ladies. What do you think, Blue? Your opinion is the one I care about the most. Of course, if I left it up to Blue to dress me, son, <laughs> might be feeling a bit breezier. A bit breezier. Is there a camp spot nearby? I'd rather sleep in the woods than trust this crowd. Genuinely. Actually, is there a campsite nearby? Oh, we're in the town map, so we're not allowed to know. We're not allowed to know. Okay, the nearest one is way back there. We'd have to go back through the woods. Maybe I'll just warp us back to town. I'll splurge again. Since you kids put up with this damn episode, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that. We'll use my other fairy stone. I assume you could buy these somewhere or earn them. Or I assume pay real world money for them. That's a thing. That's a thing. Hmm. 
うまく移動できましたねさてここはどういう状況でしょうか Yeah, we warped away the worries, right, Blue? The purple really brings out the blueness of your eyes, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, it's almost time to finally send these girls home and end the episode. I know you could scarcely believe it. I know you could scarcely believe it. I want to upgrade my gear, new gear first, though. Oh, I didn't even realize I got these. I guess he gave me some cool new daggers. The pelt flares. Hmm. I wonder if we upgrade them if they'll be better than our snare daggers. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh, damn. I realize we're going to need money <laughs> for upgrading this stuff as well. I'm going to have to vendor some more stuff right quick. So give me a second. All right, vendored some stuff. Let's keep on upgrading. All right, what are we missing from getting this to its final rank? Oh, Griffin Claws. I'll come across them real soon. I'll come across them real soon. All right, we can take them to the max level. We might as well do it. We might as well do it. Just say, are there any capes that go better with my new outfit that they sell here? Damn. <laughs> if it didn't just kind of hover on us, it'd be cooler. You're very welcome. Oh, yeah, let's see if our new daggers, how much better they are. This is menuing, but this is like exciting menuing. No, they're, they're just worse, which is a shame because <laughs> we upgraded them. But what can you do? I suppose we could sell them to get some of the cost back at some point. At some point. I was trying to see what other cloaks they have. To go with my latest armors. In case you're wondering what I'm looking at. Okay, we're fine. Oh, alright girls. Let's head to the rift. You're finally free of this nightmare. You're finally free of the Tenfei Madness. Wait till everybody's here. Before we traverse the rift. We trip the rift. Fantastic. Alright, first of all, let's go ahead and enter cat mode. Search. Advanced pawn search. In this level range. Okay, if I'm a thief and blue's a mage, then we want every other possible class to be available. Feminine Beastrin. I mean, I, you know, I might actually need this. <laughs> maybe this is the trick to playing. Yeah, maybe I will leave that on. Or maybe I could get a pawn that's dedicated to know this and then turn that filter off and hire a second pawn. Maybe that's what I'll do. Searching for cat ladies. And in the meantime, Mo, it was good to have you here. And you're still in my favorites, too. All right, let's send you back home. All right, I got to give you a gift. What do I still have in my inventory that I haven't sold? Here, take this hearty meat. It's in character for you, I'd like to think. Oh, and I'm definitely hearting. Nine days traveled. <laughs> I see. Me too, Mo. Oh, no, she faded off into obscurity. Like, stand by me. Like, oh, look, there's Balrog. My Street Fighter joke from much earlier in the video has returned. All right, Katniss. And what are we going to give you since you've been real good this whole time? Unconscious debilitation. A horse bud reverent. I should have brought better gifts. I could give you this tiger eye. It's very valuable, though. <laughs> Very valuable. Damn, out of all the things I'm carrying. Immense amount of stamina. A great deal of stamina. I'll give you one of these. 
Me too. I mean, we could always encounter them again later. Remember, they only level up in their player Arisen's world. So there's always a chance that we'll encounter them again at a higher level. Gizlane. That's a Mashoko Tensei reference that I get. That I get. And who made you guts, of course. Of course. Um, I don't believe I recall guts looking like that. Also, he's wearing my armor, but I pulled it off much better. There's a goober. A goofy goober. Katne. Could you be replacing Katniss? And who made you? Begne. I see. Well, he's got Zidane's the ogre. Hello, lady. And there's me, you. Mew. Milk. <laughs> Just milk. Uh, I didn't really mean to do that. I'm sorry. It's like accidentally following somebody on Twitter when you're just trying to scroll the interface. I appreciate your health total. I see. Interesting. Inter How did you get a character? Is are you wearing like a beast or mask? Because <laughs> it clearly looks like a human. Hmm. Your arisen intimidates me. There's Gary. There's Gary. There's Lurija. Well, you just... Don't worry about things. Feline. Fine. And then Stormbender. You've got like a snow leopard thing going on. The Witcher. Yeah, I guess so. He's got same daggers I do with the icy enchantment. Ooh, Lavender. Hey, hey, hey. What are you all about? Momo. Is that a Breath Fire 3 reference? Ah, some kind of cool snow leopard. Rogue in a mask. Yeah, I think we found our warrior. Are you? Yeah, that's the warrior because they got a big uh, sword. All right, you're coming with us. Hell yeah. Baby cat. Althea. Lunalia. <laughs> Just walking around reading cat lady pawn names. Okay, now... We can go in here. We can turn off warrior and fighter. We just want a sorcerer, really. They don't have to have quest knowledge. And let's see who we get. A sorceress. Blue was a sorceress once. I might change her back at some point. If you all recommend it. Layla will have us on our knees. Of course, there's Katne. Should we just go with Katne? I guess we'll give Layla a chance. You're a very blue-like in appearance as well. Skotex. What are you, like a dubstep rapper? I see. Think yourself a thief of hearts, do you? Hmm. I like how you've got a quest reward for one gold as well. Queenie. Queenie. Oh, okay. We've... We're so specific. We've only got these three to choose from. I guess there's no excuse not to talk to you then. Falcon. Captain Falcon. That seems about right. All right. I think we're going to have to go with our initial instinct and get Katne. And I'm trying to remember your arisen. Oh, yeah, it was this guy. All right. I think we'll be all right. You're very kind-hearted, after all. After all. It's good to know. What do you think, Blue? What do you think of our latest recruits? <laughs> our rotating party members, like we're Final Fantasy 2 or 4 characters. You know, we're 6. Or, uh, like 8 or 9. <laughs> Most of them, I suppose. Alright, and is this where we can see blue details? Blue's details? Pawns in the Rift. This is just who we've hired and what they have. It's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I assume, well, y'all must have seen blue's uh, code because my friend Sean, in a previous episode, he gave us that gear that she's currently wearing and that I greatly appreciate. 
We could probably get us a really good thumbnail here. Blue. We could probably do just that. And if we have you turn around, they'll be in the background too. Never mind. Just doing meta stuff. Just doing meta stuff. Alright, we need to line up in a way that it doesn't say hold B to talk. Okay, right about there. Cut off. Yes. Oh, uh, why does it have to have her name floating over her head? God damn it, it's enough. And then she sat down, and then she sat down. Oh no, it's not your name, it's this character's name. And I could just move her with my Tiger Man body. Could you stand back up, please? <laughs> Thank you. A kingdom of Beastrin. We should probably visit it sometime. We should probably visit it. Okay, got to get that position just right. Oh, wait, the game has the photo mode that I never learned how to use. So this will be the perfect chance to do it. Oh, you have to use the computer's screenshot feature. <laughs> or I could use... The steel image. Okay, zoom, zoom. Oh no, oh no, how do I reset? Okay, there we go. Why am I slightly blurry and ruining everything? Damn it. Why am I glowing? I guess that's just what happens when I'm in the rift. But it does kind of ruin the aesthetic I'm trying to go for right now. You know? You know? Just saying. Just saying. Oh, everybody's posed so good. And by that I mean she's posed so good. So good. <laughs> You're like, uh, Uncle Tefe, didn't you promise us that uh you weren't gonna be doing this nonsense? I know Blue's making a weird face. We gotta get it when she's on just the right spot of her pose cycle. Probably like right about there. Probably like right about there. I glow and it doesn't matter. When you look at the thumbnail, if you're like, man, why is Tim Faye glowing like that? You'll know that it doesn't matter. Although I hate at that angle, we won't get as much. Yeah, we need blue to occupy a good amount of the frame, but not be so tall that I can't scale it over correctly. Although it is better when she's some more imposing figure. The imposing figure of blue. Is what we named space. You're cutting off a uh, cat nine. I, I don't remember their names. I'll learn their names in the next episode. My God. <laughs> just let me have this. We're just barely getting through this right now. Okay. Well, there we go. I guess we'll end the episode here in the rift. Cat and lavender, of course. Of course. Yeah, we'll end the episode here in the void and uh, go from there. See y'all in the next episode.